In this week in review math homework, I'm going to show you how to do the rounding first. So if I follow my steps to rounding that I have in my journal, first I'm going to make the number line, which I already have here on the slide. Step two is to underline the place value. So this is round to the nearest hundred. So I'm going to find the hundred place. This is one, tens, hundred, and I'm going to grab this little square here and drag it over to underline. And I'm going to put it right under the five because that's the one that is in the hundred place. Okay, so I've underlined my place value. Then my step three is to find the end point. So I know I'm looking at 500. So that would be my left end point. So I would type in my 500 for my end point. Then my next end point would be 100 more than 500. So I would put my 600 here. Then step four is to find the midpoint. So halfway between 500 and 600 would be 550. Then step five is to plot my numbers. So then I take this number here and I want to plot that number. So I drag it over to my spot. I know that 564 is bigger than 550, so it goes on this side of the number line. Then it says to draw my jumps. I can't actually draw my jumps on here, but I can see that 564, 564 is closer to 600 than it is to 500, so then I'm going to drag my circle around the 600 because that is what I'm going to be rounding the number to. So that is how you are going to round your number here. So then I put the circle around my answer choice. Okay. Then for the review of the place value chart here, this is the same thing we did on Wednesday where you will fill out the chart um, with the numbers and figure out which one is greater than or less than. And here at the end, you are going to put these numbers in order from least to greatest. So I would take the smallest number and drag it to the left. Then the middle number in the middle and the biggest number on the right. So I would put them in order from least to greatest. And then here I would do it from greatest to least. So make sure you pay attention to which one goes where. So that is how you are going to do this week in review assignment.